Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about types of texters. such an integral part of our everyday lives like it's almost an essential form of communication like stuff actually physically talking to you I'd rather spam you with my most frequently used emojis like seriously one thing I have noticed especially since moving to Canada I guess because I'm texting and messaging people back home a lot more is texting has become almost like an art form it can be you know interpreted appreciated executed in a variety of ways the first kind of texter is the grandma the super slow replier and like i get it some people have lives i don't but some people do and i respect that you know you do your thing but if you're gonna initiate a conversation and then i almost instantly reply like i am on the ball and then it takes you like two days to reply back what is the point i just don't get it like hey how are you good thanks how are you don't reply for eight hours you're leaving me on a cliffhanger i don't know how you are like i'm on edge you're keeping me in suspense are you good are you bad i don't know i just don't get it however the grandma texter should not be confused with someone who never texts back that's like a whole nother species a grandma texter does reply but they just take their sweet ass time doing it and I am not a fan. Next we have the emoji abuser. Now don't get me wrong, I love a good emoji. They add so much energy and just character, just general pizzazz to the conversation. But some people abuse this privilege. People who send like 10 of the same emojis in a row, like one is perfect, two is fine, maybe even three if you really want to emphasize it. But 10, like it's just, it's so unnecessary. My mom is a prime example of an emoji abuser. Like we will be having a normal casual conversation and out of nowhere, boom, 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 like all of these random emojis left, right and center that have zero relevance to the conversation. Why? I just, I don't understand. Maybe it's like an old person with technology, not that your old mom, if you're watching this, you're, you don't look a day over 20. I don't know if she doesn't understand the concept of emojis or she's just an emoji abuser um either way we need to have an intervention then we have the acronym advocator someone whose vocabulary consists of like no more than three or four letter words someone who says like ruffle lmao wtf omg like i i say omg like guilty but people who like constantly use it like texting is meant to be easy i shouldn't be using google translate to decipher what you're saying like please use real words next type of text we have are the full stoppers i don't know about you but full stops make me nervous and i'm gonna be honest i used to love full stops back in the day i used to use them constantly i thought i was doing all my english teachers proud you know upholding my grammar skills even when i was on social media and texting and whatnot but one day i decided to test the waters live a full stop free life just for the day and uh it was quite possibly the most liberating thing i have ever done the possibilities are endless when you don't use a full stop like you can carry on the conversation the sentence and like correct like it's just so much opportunity. Nowadays, full stops terrify me. They literally make me nervous. Because when I use full stops nowadays, I either use them when I'm trying to be like really serious. I've got my game face on, like I'm trying to get a point across. Oh, sorry, hair on my nose. <laughs> just girly things. Um, I'm sorry, my hair is just, I'm balding. Okay, I'm balding. My hair falls out so easily. And yet I have so much of it. Like, where does it go? I don't know. Um, yeah, I either use them when I'm being really serious or I am mad. I'm mad. I'm angry at you. So now I assume that everyone else who uses a full stop at the end of a sentence is feeling the same. They're probably not. It's probably a really innocent use of a full stop. But, uh, you know, it makes me nervous. I see the full stop and I'm like, oh. I'm in for it. <laughs> Next we have the excited texter, which I feel like this one pertains to me the most. There's the abuse of the caps lock button. That's a prime example of an excited texter and a constant flow of messages. Like there's no stopping an excited texter. Sometimes you don't even finish the sentence. You just send it. Send, send, send. It can be annoying. I'm sure it's really annoying for the person that actually receives the messages. Um, but you know, it's innocent. I feel like this is the most innocent type of text to be honest. You know, you're not abusing emojis, you're not taking forever to reply, you're not using the full stop. It's harmless. You're a happy texter. And last but not least, we have the predictive text user. <sighs> I hate predictive text. I 
ate it with a passion for fashion. Um, no, I seriously, oh, I cannot stand it. I don't use it, I have never used it, and I never will use it. And autocorrect, autocorrect and predictive text like that. That same thing, like, no, none of that, please. It's one thing making a mistake when you're messaging and it just being a mistake, you know, you don't have your predictive text on, you stumble, that's fine, that's cool, it's whatever, it's human error. But if you make a mistake because of predictive text or autocorrect, there is a problem. It has one job and it's not doing it. It's not working for you and you should turn it off, please. I'm talking to you, mum. My mum is another prime example of a predictive text slash autocorrect user. Like I was messaging my mum the other day and I was like, hey, like miss you, let's Skype soon. And she replied and she was like, absolutely cannot. I was like, okay. I know I moved to the other side of the world for a year, but like you surely kind of replaced me as your favorite child already. Come on now. But lo and behold, it was her stupid predictive text. Or so she tells me. Maybe she just didn't want to Skype. I don't know. Those are all the types of texts that I've encountered or I've been. I'm going to be honest, I've been nearly every form of text that I've referenced in this video at one point or another in my life. Um, whoops. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to give it a good old thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below letting me know what type of text that annoys you the most. Also make sure to check out all my social media links down below. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Well, I won't see you, but you'll see me. I always say that, and I'll never see you, but I know you're there in spirit. Okay, cool. Bye! I know, crazy. Who would have thought Ella has a bae? A boy? I know!